So here we have three impellers side by side. On the left is a Solace impeller, and in the middle is a Hamilton 3.4 modified to be sort of like a Solace, and on the right is a Hamilton 3.4. And the main difference for the modification is that the bottom of this uh, stock impeller has been rotated a little bit, so it's rotated that way, so it ends up looking more like the Solace. So here you can see the Solace impeller from the inside, so you can see what the modification actually is. And there's two additional holes per bolt drilled so that the uh, two halves of the impeller can be rotated relative to each other. And here's a different angle on the three impellers. And you can see that the left and center impellers are the most similar and then the unmodified 3.4 on the right is, uh, is different, clearly. Um, but if you look at the left and center impellers, you can see that there are still differences. Rotating the top and bottom halves of the center impeller didn't make it so that it's exactly the same as the Solus on the left. There's still a little bit difference in the pitch and the twist on those impellers. So we're going to take this out for a test and see what actually happens. So we're going to compare the Solus with the modified 3.4 and we're also going to compare the 3.4 with the modified 3.4. So we have two boats. One of them has a 6 liter engine and the other one has a 6.2 DI and the, uh, the 6.2 DI starts with a Solus impeller and then is going to try the modified impeller and the 6 liter engine started with the uh, stock 3.4 and then try the modified 3.4. So we'll see if this is better for either of those stock situations. If the modified impeller is better or not. So we went out and did the test runs and now you're probably wondering, well, was this a smart idea or a dumb idea? And it turns out this was a dumb idea in both cases. So when we took the 6 liter and swapped from a 3.4 to the modified 3.4, it lost about 200 RPM and 4 miles per hour of top speed. And when we uh, swapped in the modified 3.4 for the Solus impeller on the 6.2 DI, then it lost about 150 RPM and maybe 2 miles per hour of top speed. The 6 liter really couldn't blow out either the 3.4 or the modified 3.4, so the cavitation problems uh, weren't really obvious there. With the 6.2 DI, um, the Solus impeller, it, it would overspin just a little bit. You know, if I just punch the gas, um, it would overspin. But then it would calm back down on its on its own, so you know it might get up to 46 or 4800 RPM, and then and then slide back down to say 4000 RPM. But with the modified 3.4, it blew out horribly. It would get up to you know 5200 RPM, and I, so I would feel compelled to uh, let off on the throttle. And then if I increase the uh, RPM again, you know quickly, then it, it it might actually blow out a second time. So the cavitation was actually uh, quite severe, and uh, then we took it and run, ran a um, moderate rapid just to see what would happen. You know, it's, the rapid is big enough to put water all the way over the windshield and uh, to cause some cavitation when the back of the boat is kind of up, up high on a wave. And with the Solus impeller, there was very little cavitation, and any that did occur, it was self-correcting. But with this modified 3.4, it was uh, it wasn't a total disaster, but it wasn't that it wasn't that good. So there was uh, many instances where it would cavitate, and I kind of felt compelled to let off on the throttle so as to regain traction. So overall, uh, again, this was a dumb idea. So we spent a whole lot of time, you know, uh, the the guy who did the work on the impeller and then uh, testing the boats and whatnot, and we came to this conclusion that, no, there's really no point in, in doing this. 
If you can modify the stock 3.4 impeller like this and then twist the blades just a little bit so they look more like the Solus impeller, then maybe you'll get somewhere. But as things stand, no, it's not worth doing. It's likely that the Solus guys are using some CFD program with some knowledgeable CFD programmers. And they simply plug in the design parameters of the uh, uh, impeller and then they just uh, go to lunch or maybe take a nap and wait while, wait while the computer comes up with the optimal uh, uh, setup for this impeller. You know, so the design parameters will be things like, well, the impeller can only be so long. It can only be such and such in diameter. We want X number of blades, that kind of thing. And so they can just tell the computer, hey, make the best one for us. And, uh, and, and then it, it will. You know, that, this kind of optimization of CFD stuff was available 20 years ago. I know that. And you know, I just haven't kept track of it. So by now, it's probably really good. So that's probably what they did. And that's why the Solus Impeller is better.